Bernardino Luini hailed from northern Italy and was born in Runo in 1475. He passed away in 1532 after making significant contributions to the art world during the High Renaissance period. Luini was an artist who was part of Leonardo's circle and even worked directly with him, alongside Giovanni Antonio Boltraffio. His art was heavily influenced by Leonardo, and many of his pieces were initially attributed to the master artist. Luini was known for his graceful portrayal of female figures, which were often depicted with elongated eyes. His unique style is now referred to as Luinesque and has inspired artists for centuries. During the High Renaissance period, Luini's art was part of the L2 art movement. Despite being heavily influenced by Leonardo, Luini was able to develop his own style that was unique and original. He received numerous commissions, and his artwork can be found in many churches throughout Italy. His legacy as an artist continues to inspire and influence artists today. Bernardino Luini was born in Runo, near Lake Maggiore, and moved to Milan with his father in 1500. He was likely trained under Ambrogio Bergognone or Giovan Stefano Scotto. His first frescoes include the Adoration of the Magi in San Pietro of Luino and the Presbytery fresco in the Monza Cathedral. Luini's style was influenced by Bernardino Zinale's Canto Polyptic, but his subsequent works, such as Lamentation of the Dead Christ in Santa Maria della Passione and Madonna della Buoninat in the Abbey of Chiravale, reflected his own unique style. After traveling to Treviso, Luini returned to Milan and worked on a polyptic, which is now mostly lost. In the 1510s, he painted frescoes in the oratory of Santa Maria Nuova in Pilastrello, San Giorgio di Palazzo, and the Certosa di Pavia. He also worked for Girolamo Rabia and painted mythological scenes in the Palazzo Rabia. In 1521, Luini traveled to Rome, where he was influenced by Raphael's style. He brought this influence back to Milan and executed several frescoes, including the Passion and Crucifixion fresco at Santa Maria degli Angeli in Lugano. Luini completed a series of frescoes on the life of the Virgin and Christ for the Sanctuary of Santa Maria dei Miracoli in Serrano around 1525, and also painted the fresco in the counterfeit of Santa Bondio in Como the same year. He continued to be influenced by Leonardo da Vinci in his later works, such as Saint Anne in the Pinacoteca Ambrosiana and Saint Catherine in the Hermitage. He passed away in Milan, leaving behind an accomplished painter son, Aurelio. Despite his influence and talent, some scholars question the extent of Luini's contributions to some pieces, such as the Salvatore Mundi, suggesting that he may have primarily served as a secondary painter. In conclusion, Bernardino Luini was an influential artist of the High Renaissance period, known for his graceful portrayal of female figures. Although heavily influenced by Leonardo da Vinci, Luini was able to develop his own unique style, which has inspired and influenced artists for centuries. His artwork can be found in churches throughout Italy, showcasing his skill and creativity. Luini's legacy as an accomplished painter continues to be celebrated, despite some speculation about his contributions to certain pieces. His impact on the art world during the High Renaissance period cannot be overlooked.